Impact Wrestling presents Under Siege, live May 26th on Impact Plus and Fight. The tension continues to build on our way to London, Ontario, Canada for Under Siege Live one week from tomorrow. Welcome everyone to Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Impact Wrestling opening contest, a non-title match set for one fall. Introducing first from Toledo, Ohio, the X Division Champion, Trey Miguel. And we kick off this show with the one and only, the once in a generation, and dare I say it, once in a lifetime athlete in Impact Wrestling and all of pro wrestling with our X Division champ. Miguel's gonna try to prove that at Under Siege, live on Impact Plus Fight TV and YouTube for Ultimate Insiders. He defends that very X Division championship against the eight-time X Division champion, Chris Saban. His opponent from Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, Laredo! Kid. But before that, Miguel's gonna have to deal with Laredo Kid. These two have teamed together at points. They have also been great opponents in the past. And you just never know when Laredo Kid can pull one out and surprise somebody. I mean, Laredo Kid is one of those guys that at any given moment can pull a huge upset, and especially for Trey Miguel. He does not want to let that happen on the road to under siege and that huge exhibition championship match. Like you said, with Chris Saban, he wants all the momentum he can get. It's been great to see Laredo Kid competing once again here in Impact Wrestling. He's won a series of matches and now comes into this opportunity against the X Division champion. Who knows if he gets a win here, maybe a future X Division title shot. But first things first, uh, come under siege, that is. And uh, that's typical Trey Miguel. Trey Miguel not wasting any time with pleasantries. He is all business. Trey Miguel has said that he is the greatest X Division champion of all time. Believes he'll be champion forever. Right now, Laredo Kid trying to tie up the champion. I'll give credit to Trey Miguel. By the time we get to Under Siege, Miguel will have two of the top five longest single X Division title reigns of all time. Ray, well, it's simply astounding what Miguel has done. Okay, nerd, I'll one up you. I, I, I did my own research this time on my own. I didn't text anybody to help me with it. No, no, no. I found this out. Did you know that as of today, Trey Miguel holds the third longest combined total days as X Division champion? And that's only with two reigns. The next two above him, Austin Aries and his opponent at Under Siege, Chris Saban, who took six and eight reigns respectively to reach those goals. I give credit to Chris Saban. He is the trailblazer of the X Division. I've called him uh, the Bill Russell of the X Division Championship. And Troy Miguel, I don't know a lot of respect for Moreto Kid. He's certainly not shown a lot of respect for Chris Saban. He's not shown a lot of respect for the X Division Championship. Scott Demore, the Impact fans. Where, where do I stop? Where does the disrespect end with Trey Miguel? Well, let's, where does the respect begin? Whoa. Because Trey Miguel respects himself enough to stand up for himself and know where he belongs. On the move. Oh, Kid tracking down Trey Miguel. He's not standing up anymore. We got to take a look at that one more time. The heat-seeking missile that is Laredo Kid, like you said, tracking Trey Miguel on the outside. That was incredible. Just a taste of the action we have in store this evening here in Chicago. Still to come, one half of the Impact World Tag Team Champions, Ace Austin, deals with Jason Hotch of the Good Hands. Also, a huge six-man tag team match in our main event that is a preview of what's to come at Under Siege, the future number one contenders match for the Impact World Championship. Also, Trinity makes her in-ring debut here at Impact Wrestling as she faces a reigning champion. One half of the Knockouts World Whoa. Tag Team Champions, Kylan King. Oh. Absolutely innovative oh, offense from an already incredibly innovative wrestler and that man, the X Division champ, Trey Miguel. Always changing the game, always up in the competition. Oh, and an uppercut delivered there to Laredo Kid. Trey Miguel taking any opportunity he can get to get an advantage. Uh, slinging back in the ring, picking up the pace once again. Oh, drop kick, here's the cover. Hook to the leg here on Laredo Kid and a kick out. Everyone wants to complain about the attitude, 
underhanded, overhanded, whatever. The bottom line is, it has results. All those stats you listed, I listed, those are stone cold facts. And all those have come on the back of this attitude change of Trey Miguel. 181 days as exhibition champion now in his second reign as champion. Oh, that was cold. Yeah. Right to the face here of Laredo Kid. Trying to send a message, not only, of course, to Laredo Kid, reminding him who's the champ, but a, a message all the way to the back, all the way to Chris Saban. I want to say this. Talk about polar opposites. Trey Miguel is shouting from the mountaintops that he's the greatest exhibition champion ever. Oh, oh. you and I both know Chris Saban. Soft-spoken human being, humble human being, wonderful person, and he knows what he can accomplish in the ring, and he doesn't have to tell people how great he is. He goes out and proves it in the ring every night. Okay, apples and oranges, man. Not everybody can be Chris Saban. Thank God not everybody is Tom Hannafin. Trey Miguel just got to go out there and beat Trey Miguel. Miguel continues to beat down Laredo Kid, trying to make an impression here, but four under siege in the mind of his opponent, Chris Saban. Now just enjoying the advantage here for a second. Oh, continuing to lay it in. Oh, little spicy, little heat in the building. Tomorrow night, catch another retro night here on Access TV at 8 p.m. Eastern, starting with the very, very best of the 80s. Then it's the monkeys. Then it's nothing but trailers flashback. It all starts tomorrow night at 8 here on Access TV. Oh, good clothesline by Laredo Kid. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sit out. Metinuko driver there. Great turnaround from Laredo Kid. Oh, oh. That snap moonsault there. Almost disaster. Great catch, though, from Laredo Kid. Oh, right to the spine of Miguel. The cover here on the reigning exhibition champion. Kick out by Miguel. Shout out to the huge Lucha Libre tradition here in Chicago. Tons of fans of that style of wrestling. They're firmly behind Laredo Kid. I'll give him that. And so many people support Laredo Kid late in 2022. Nearly died after having a ruptured intestine during a match in Mexico. Needed life-saving surgery and it literally has a second lease on life. And then pro wrestling has been winning here in Impact as of late. Ooh. No doubt about it. Great to see Laredo Kid doing what he does best. And right now oh. he's in there, though, with the best and taking the fight to the champ. On the move. Oh, and Miguel with a back elbow. These guys oh. trying to stop each other's momentum here. Oh, beautiful drop kick there by Miguel. We talked about two men who know each other extremely well as opponents and as teammates. That combo. Oh. Now Miguel. Oh, oh my God. God. Caught by Laredo Kid. Good God. Spiked on his head. Watch this one more time, the rotation of Laredo Kid, and bam, down goes Trey Miguel. What a move. Miguel and Laredo Kid out to the count of 10 to get back up to their feet. Laredo Kid buys himself some much needed breathing room. Miguel has got to find a way to recover. Laredo Kid going into the cover here to pin the reigning champion. Another kick out by Miguel. Ooh, little less life in that kick out, though. Trey Miguel trying to find some space. Oh, here. oh, 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 oh my God! Moreno oh, Kid! Come on! Oh, I'll say just slapped Miguel in the back of the head and Who knocked him down! That? Who smacks a man in the back of the head when he's not looking? Oh, frankly, Trey Miguel's done that plenty of times with plenty of people. I'd say turnabout's fair play. Irrelevant. Erroneous on all accounts. Alaredo Kid trying to tie up Trey Miguel. Oh, look at this! Going for a submission attempt. They're talking about some ingenuity. Oh, my God. In ring ingenuity. What a stretch here. Uh, and look at this. Using Miguel's own body against him. The right leg looks like it was trying to go into the throat there, created by Laredo Kid. Not a lot I can say that I haven't seen in this business. That one was new to me. Oh, he goes right to the back of the head of Laredo Kid. There's the cover. Miguel thinks he's got it. No. A little payback from moments ago. Very close, though, for the X Division champion. Great turnaround from Trey Miguel as well. 
Now Trey Miguel going up top. Once again, taunting the fans here in Chicago. Trying to pick up the victory before his title defense and under siege rolls through. Laredo Kid, series of strikes now against the champion. For now, power, Trey Miguel. Oh, and Sakuri. Beautiful kick upside the head of Laredo Kid. Oh, kick right to the face. Went for the lightning spiral. Nearly ran into the official. Oh, oh he took the Laredo Kid's mask off. Beautiful, beautiful. Cover on the disrespect by Miguel. Gets the win. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Trey Miguel. That is classless, and you know it. In the way ever. In the who, whose music is playing right now? Whose hand is raised in victory? That was a brilliant move by Trey Miguel. I don't care what your opinion is. Oh, you were talking about the great luchador history here in Chicago, the great respect the fans of Chicago have for Laredo Kid, and then Miguel does something like that. You know it's sacrilege to take all hey. the luchador's mask.